I've seen this thing uh, recently on social media by the wonderful Muslim community that is on on Twitter and all of that, roasting DJ Khaled for his album cover. Bro. You guys see the album cover? Yeah. I thought it was dope. So he's he's on his knees praying and he has his kids on his sides, right? Um, and so right away I saw, I, like when I saw that album cover, I was like, oh, okay, like he's about to get flamed. This is what always happens with DJ Khaled where like he puts out something like this and suddenly Muslims are like, oh yeah, like let's comment. Why are you promoting or like putting it on music? But the rest of the year, it's like he's carrying Ciroc bottles and he's, yeah, yeah. you know, got girls twerking right in front of him and whatever. And, you know, but right then it's like, hold on, we need to set something straight here. Like, this is not how you pray. What? So- Well, he's, that, not, he's not praying. He's just making dua. Right. And, then, and, and I mean, he is posing a little funky different than everyone else is. But I mean- I, thought, I mean, I if we want to get technical with it, right? Like, for whatever reason, that's the main thing I saw on Twitter was like, okay, yeah, what is he doing? Right? Where they were like, this is not prayer. Basically, first of all, if he is making dua, which is like, you know, he's not in- um, the Salah, which is like, you know, the five daily prayers, he's not doing that, but he's actually just making a prayer, you know, blanket prayer. Mm -hmm. um, then you can perform it in the way that he's doing it. And you can go down in Sajud, which is like when you actually put your head down, that can be part of a prayer, which people do. Um, and that's what he did in his like, in the motions of it when he was doing it. So technically like, it's not an issue, right? Um, but he, I think the disconnect is if somebody wants to acknowledge their creator, their faith, and he literally puts like produced by Allah on, this is not the first time he yeah, put he that on. he did on the on last his, one too. He did on the last one. Just Where it nobody says caught executively it. produced by DJ Khaled, his two sons, yeah. and then Allah. Yeah. Wait, it actually said that? Yeah. It says that on this album and it said it on the last album, but That's people dope. are criticizing on this that's one. That's dope. They're like, what? Who I produced this? That's Wait, dope. So, so you really like it. I saw your Facebook yeah. status. You were like really okay, praising. See, no, yeah. Well, I'm talking about the fact that, you know, I, I love that he was showing that part of him. Like, for, for, first off, the whole judging, right? Like, you can't have a criteria of, oh, you're doing this, so you can't publicly talk about your spiritual side. Like, that to me is 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 messed up. But the fact that he's showing little, I mean, from the beginning, like, I've always been respectable like okay okay so he doesn't flaunt it but who are we to say that he has to or can't flaunt it or whatnot but like um freaking one of his first albums you see him with like the all pendant on and like all this time in his snapchat stories and whatnot when he's talking about all praise the most high the sun shining on me he's got the all pendant on right and yeah. then now he's kind of putting it more forward which also then gives a good example for you know the rest of us going you know hey why why are we afraid to like even just a little bit put this out there you know, I think it's in interesting craft. that he even will shout out Palestine at times. And well, he's, he is, he's Palestinian. Right. Yeah. But no, no, but that's very different um, when you're in a major mainstream industry. Industry. Mm. And he's the most mainstream it gets, literally. Yeah. Right. You know? And, st and to be putting Palestine. Um, Palestine, out there. Islam. Mm. Yeah. Like, why, why, or why are people afraid of him? Showing like, you know, what he likes about Islam. And stuff. Because you know what it is? It's these um, publications that we have nowadays that are like, they'll post anything that's Muslim related and people get hype off of it. You know, like recently Kyrie Irving, he was talking about, this is the basketball player, Kyrie Irving. He was talking about um, fasting. And then immediately I see everywhere they're like, oh, brother Kyrie, like he's Muslim. Like this is so exciting. I think we get too excited because we're like, oh, this is somebody who we uh, acknowledge in the mainstream and yeah. they are going to be talking about Islam in some way. People are getting too excited. And then um, he didn't say whether he was Muslim or not Muslim and people are posting it everywhere. And then eventually he said that he has been, um, this is after the fact that everybody already posted about it. He's saying that, yeah, I've been observing, you know, with my brothers and sisters. People are like, oh, he's talking about the Muslim brothers and sisters. And he's like, I want to give this, um, you know, a shot, basically. That's what he's saying. Kyrie is somebody who also is, um, explores his spirituality a lot. And, you know, he's somebody that will be like, oh, like, is the earth flat? And go on sort of that route. So 
it's not, it, I'm not taking a shot at Kyrie in, like in any way. I love him as a basketball player. That's why I watch him. And as a person, he's cool. He's like somebody who um, tries to explore, you know, the, the ways in which we live our lives, right? Which is, which is all good. But for me to be like hoping that he's Muslim so that I can have some sort of relatability to him or, in some way. Well, I don't, Amber, I don't think that's it. Thing. I don't think that's it though. I think that when it happens, it's like, okay, this is being more visible and more common. That's why there's excitement when it's seen just to be like, oh, it's there. But as it becomes more common, that hype will start to nah, die bro. down because it's normalized. Because Rihanna will say something and regarding like- Ramadan Mubarak or something. Mubarak or yeah. something. And people will be like, oh my God, Rihanna. Like she's Sister Rihanna, us. mashallah. Yeah. Which like, I oh, get the jokes okay. and no, all no, of no. that. I, no, now I see what you're saying. Because there is but some then, where they- But then as soon as somebody who was Who's working yeah. as a Re on Rihanna's fashion show decided to put in a song from somebody else, then it's, and Rihanna has no understanding of what it is. And it is actually, you know, a verse from the Quran that's being put on some sort of EDM music or something. Then it's F Rihanna, this, she needs to apologize. Did that actually happened? Yes. Yeah, that actually Bruh. happened. And, and it was blown up by a publication called At Muslim. So just let that sink in. Mm. What I'm saying is, back to DJ Khaled, right? I think that when he does something that, you know, portrays him uh, or, or he aligns himself with Islam, you know, every now and then, then we are quick to comment on it. And my thing is, if you don't see DJ Khaled as an example in the first place for anything Islam related, then why does this part bother you where you're like, you're not listening to him anyway. You're not watching him anyways. So now you're on his Instagram and commenting, brother, it's Ramadan. What are you doing? No, no, no. What are you doing mm. on DJ Khaled's Instagram? If that's something you're supposed to be ignoring. Yeah, cause you get the, what I'm saying? Cause this ain't new. It's I mean, not new. Well, something maybe size wise, like on how much effort he's putting on, but it's not new as far as him showing off that, you know, he's Muslim and that's where his faith comes and from. And that's what, and that's what actually takes people away from the religion and, and, and much of religion in general. This is why we got Dave Chappelle, who people are like, wait, I didn't know he was Muslim, whatever. Maybe it's because he knows the repercussion of saying, of being vocal about something like this and then having to deal with the consequences right after. The what consequences if Dave Chappelle being from the Ummah, you're saying? Yes. Yeah. From well, our, well very, I think personally for him, he's somebody who's not perfect. So he doesn't want to taint the image of Islam, even though like he knows that. So I, I think he can handle the repercussions I mean, or that, whatnot. That, that could be it too. But there's a lot of Muslims that go, oh, you're a movie star. Oh, you're uh, a yeah, musician. Think, like that's haram. Like immediately without yeah. anything. Right? But Dave Chappelle's like a different beast, right? right. Like he's, I, I agree with yeah. you. Um, it could be both things, right? Yeah, yeah. It's just that one of them uh, are both are true if it if that's yeah, yeah. the case though that like when you do speak about something when you do align yourself this goes with politics anything right mm -hmm. um when you align yourself with one group of people or one sort of belief then you will deal with the repercussions of people who expect you to be a certain way when you are of a, a member of that group or the rest of the groups who are going to attack you for being that thing yeah so yeah i just don't I don't, I don't get why we're still like, it's been years that people are like it's DJ gonna, Khaled. Like, it's going to happen for like the next, you know, couple of years. DJ Khaled yeah. is a producer. If you like him, go listen to his music. But if you don't know him personally, what do you like? You, there's real, there's real um, examples and real role models that are in your life right now. I look at my role model for being a Muslim is my mom. That's who wow. I've known my entire life. And the way that she practices is something that I would love to be at a level of. Remember how I was saying earlier, people who are like detached. She's somebody that like, Mother's Day is coming up next week. So uh, I'll give her a shout out. She's somebody that like, she's afraid of like spiders and thunderstorms and <laughs> dogs and random things, you know. Yeah. But she's not afraid of things that will happen to us in this life. Meaning like, Losing a job, taxes being high, um, disease spreading everywhere or something like that. Because she's so, um, she has so much belief and faith in the person that she, or not person, but you know, um, uh, God. That when she, when she communicates with God, um, she's not worried about all these other 
worldly things, but the little things, you know, which is funny because my dad, he's kind of like the opposite where it's just like, you know, all the other things can be dealt with, but, oh, what if, you know, we were to lose the job, the house, this and that, Mm -hmm. where then she'll be like, then what? And then he'll calm down because he's like, yeah, I guess we'll make it work because her whole thing is we have each other. And yeah, so that's my views on DJ Khaled's whole thing. 